So here I am with author and Times journalist Kate Mulvey. Kate, thanks Hi. for coming. Hi there. And um, we basically love your head. How are you? Let's start that again. Sorry. Oh, oh my God. I'm worse with people I know really well. Forget so, okay. it. You don't yeah. know me. Yeah, so exactly. just, just get into performing okay. more. Exactly. Right. Okay. So I'm here with author and Times journalist Kate Mulvey. Kate, hi, welcome to the party. Hello, nice to meet you. What a great party. It's fantastic. And um, what's your involvement with the Steeple Times? What brings you here? Do you enjoy the website? I love it. I mean, the thing is, I'm going to be doing some fashion stuff and a couple of my usual opinion pieces. Fantastic. The Steeple Times, for me, is a bit like a British New Yorker in that Absolutely. It, it's really the, it's the paper about the beautiful people, but also yeah. about people who've got opinions. It's not just look what so and so. Absolutely, wearing. it's not just press release led. He's he's not afraid to say what he thinks. No, but, and not only that, he wants to get people to give a broad spectrum of either avant-garde or very kind of zeitgeisty opinions, yeah. which I think is going to make it a cut above the rest. Absolutely. And um, how much time do you devote to social media, Kate? Well, I'm writing a book at the moment. Um, Fantastic. I can't say too much about it at the moment, but... Okay, but what's what area? What's it going to cover? We love your style, so what, what are we going to look forward to? Right, well, it's about um, the evolution of popular style. One of my things that I'm very interested yeah. in is how a lot of fashion is derived from army objects or from very plain... For example... Yes. The polo neck jumper that we all love to wear was actually come from the fishermen in France, oh. and it was Coco Chanel who turned it into the beginning of modern style. Wow, so amazing! I didn't know that. This is going to be, and there's lots of things like that, presumably, that's right? It. Well, that's what it's all oh, about. Fabulous. Now, also on the subject of style, Kate, one of your pieces, always one of my favourite, that I always remember, was um, the girl in the striped pajamas. Your your trip around town, including Harrods, wearing pajamas right. just around the time when there was a lot of dress code yeah. violations at Tesco's and things, people being stopped coming into the store because of wearing yeah. tracksuits, leisure wear, pajamas. Anything else similar that we've got to look forward to like um, that? Well, I haven't done anything at the moment. Um, I have been do I do articles normally where I am the I road test it myself. Okay. So I've done microscopic leather shorts. And Is that a crime against fashion? It might be a crime against humanity. The point I think you could work it well. I've seen you in the gym. Come on. I do. I wear leather shorts. Got buns of steel. That's right. But the question is, can someone over 40, even 45, get away with high shoes and micro leather shorts? So we'll find out. I hope that's going to be picture led. That's going to be very and funny. Absolutely. Fantastic. And um, so we've got. We're going to contribute some articles for us. Yeah. And uh, any sort of messages for the Steeple Times on its launch today? I'd like to say how much I'm behind this magazine and how interested I am in it and how I'm going to love working for it and contributing. Thank Fantastic. You. Thank you so much, Thank Kate. You. Excellent.